guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to, to episode 20 of Fire Force. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I hate the fact that he's by himself. Oh! See, there's a reason why. I saw the fire from Tolkien. I'm going to take over the world. <laughs> Engulf the world of flames. You will fucking pause right there to start the goddamn opening, but okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. It's just one thing that I want for this episode. I just need Shinra and his brother show to meet up and kick some fucking ass. I I really need this. I've been wanting this ever since they have seen each other again. Even though they've had a couple of sparring matches. But I was like, no, they don't count. They don't count. Like, whenever they're really going to see each other next, it's when it's officially going to count. And, you know, I don't know. Like, is Shinra officially 100%, 110% ready to kick his little brother's ass and take him home? I don't know. Show, show always ready to kick his brother's ass no matter what. <laughs> but other than around, probably not. I mean, he, you know, Shinra, he trained. But I don't know. Like, you don't know what the hell show could be planning. I mean, oh god, I can't. I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> but if it does, if it happens in this episode, it better be fucking good. I swear to God. See, Victor leading his fucking ass into a trap. I mean, come on now. Hmm. Let me guess, go with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm 
Maybe you should go find him. I mean, and plus, you can obviously see you because your ass going in the dark with your damn suit, so. What the fuck can you do? I mean, he could take it off, and then he can just be shrouded in darkness, but. Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, that's not gonna get her easily. I mean, she's not gonna die easily. She's gonna go without fighting. Come on now. everything. Yeah, um, but I don't think you're gonna be able to find an opening this time, though. Mm. Yeah.
It's probably the same. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's so Oh, she gotta be that. There's no way in hell she could come from that. Maybe con uh, unconscious, but you know, I mean, that could be her time to escape. You did good, though. Don't kill him. Hmm, okay. Why do I feel like he's about to do something this day? <laughs> That's my favorite demon slayer. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah. Uh, Samurai Night. <laughs> <laughs> I can't live in my love of too damn much. <laughs> Oh, damn. He just knocked out with it. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, but I'm guessing what's the face is behind you, behind that pillar. Yes! God damn, this episode's almost done. We're having 17 minutes. It don't feel like that, though. Everyone's together now, except Shinra. Well, no, 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 no. No, everybody's together. Yeah. There's really... No, Maki's the only one who's by herself, so... <laughs> well, okay. What? That could be Maki, though? Yeah, that's definitely Maki. God, hurry, you threw her together. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh my god, I don't want him to bite her. No, oh my god. <laughs> because he wants to bring you back with him. And deep down, you still care about him.
Lisa, you don't want to do this. Shit, I'm just talking to calling her Lisa. Impression them because you'd rather die than telling him everything, right? They really gonna end it like this, aren't they? Son of a motherfucking bitch. <laughs> I can't even be mad at that though. Okay, I wasn't expecting, honestly. That Valkan and Lisa would have saw each other again, like, so soon. I was thinking it was going to maybe be, like, episode 24, which is supposed to be the end of the first four, I believe. Um, because I think as of right now, we don't know when the show is officially really going to return after 24 episodes. If it's going to return in winter or whenever. But, I, it, bruh, no. <laughs> I don't want this. I really don't want them to fight each other because secretly, deep down, she still cares for Valkyne. I just want her, because of the fact is, I kind of want them to go a little bit more on the, on the backstory between both Lisa, Feeler, um, the, and uh, Giovanni. I mean, him just, like, the shit that he has over her, it gives me so many feels of fucking um, Chiaki, uh, Overhaul, and fucking Eddie Chan. And with that, I can't even talk that much about that shit until we get there with my hero. But, like, it, like the tense moments, like, her standing there and him just standing over her and saying all that, like, my heart, I thought my heart was going to stop. Like, Jesus Christ. I don't like him. I hate him so freaking much. I really want him to die. Like, freaking die. I... It, mm, I I just, I want him to go. I need him to go. I, I, like, just kill him and just take Lisa back. And then, you know, I don't know. It might maybe take her a while to warm back up to Valkan. Even though, like I said, deep, 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 deep down in her feelings. Because she want to be some type of way. And I understand that because, you know, of reasons and everything. But, girl, you know, just going back to several episodes ago. With the moment that he was holding his hand out for her to come. And she, you know, had her hand out for a second. That she took it away last minute. And I was thinking, okay, there's no way in hell. Like, it may be a while. A fucking while. Until these two see each other again. Not, not no damn episode 20. That was, like, only maybe a couple of episodes from that last episode with them seeing each other. I was thinking it was gonna go, like, 10, 15 episodes, maybe. Not, like, three, three, maybe, what, five episodes has been since they've last seen each other, but I don't think she's really, she might, she might either do one of two things. She might actually really hurt, um, Valkyne, because we know she might beat the shit out of Ogi, but when it comes to Valkyne, because even though the way she looks right now, her feelings are still true to him, possibly, we don't really know, because she could be still doing a little flip-flopping, she could be just, like, two-timing, 
how she's hiding her feelings in front of Giovanni, but maybe if Giovanni dies, like, essentially either 21, 22, 23, or 24, that's when she's going to be like, yeah, I was just, I, I still have feelings for you. I still miss you. And I still want to be a family with you. But another thing is she could actually really hurt him. And because of the fact that she has her freaking hentai fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's not playing. I, I don't think she wants to play any games. I think she's really serious. And she's really possibly going to hurt him really bad. I don't think she's going to kill him. Because, I mean, he... Valkan's a very important character for this arc that's that has been started for a while now. So, I don't think he's going to die just yet. I, I think he's going to be important for a little bit while longer, even after this arc is essentially over. So, maybe about for the next, maybe, two or three arcs. And then, maybe, if um the, no, yeah, the writer of the series wants to kill the character off, then, by all means, if you don't have anything else to do with him yet, then, yeah, go ahead. But I feel like as of right now, he has so much more to tell. And I feel like if there's going to be a moment where she uses a really OP move on him, where she kind of, um, not she, I mean Valkan. Valkan, like, it, it, he's like almost like to the point where he might be unconscious for like a couple episodes. And he gets this maybe flashback of all the moments of him, Lisa, and the one kid that like essentially, you know, to me, feels like their son in a way, even though he's not. But um, since they feel like a family and everything, and then essentially, like, maybe she calls off the attack. I don't know. I'm talking out of my butt right now. And I'm just literally guessing. But who who knows? It's just I don't want her to attack him or to not, not even attack him. I don't want him. I don't want her to kill him, essentially, or to do something that she eventually, maybe not now, but maybe a couple of years down the line or a couple of weeks later after this situation has transpired, um, immediately regrets because I feel like one of two things are going to happen. Either she's going to do something that's good, she's going to regret, or they're going to kill Giovanni and they're going to run away with her and they're going to be able to take her back home. And so I really want them to kind of either maybe knock Giovanni unconscious or kill him and then essentially take Lisa back and try to just bring her on their side so she can be a good girl. I mean, because, like, yeah, even though she's a bad girl, I feel like she's still got feelings inside of her. Come on, man. Like, she, she's an interesting character, and I feel like she would be better on the side of good rather than on the side of evil. But who knows? Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 20 of Fire Force. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And of course, I will see you guys especially all next Friday for episode 21. Bye, guys.